Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I'm the education intern here at the Smithsonian Marine Ecosystems Exhibit at the St. Lucie County Aquarium. Today I'm going to be sharing a little bio bit about our nine-armed sea star. So sea stars are a member of the phylum Echinodermata, um, which means spiny or prickly skin, so they have a rough sort of sandpapery feel to them. Uh, other echinoderms include our sea cucumbers, sea urchins, and sand dollars. A unique feature that all of these animals have are their tube feet. Uh, tube feet are controlled by a water vascular system, which is a network of small vessels that's filled with water, and the sea star can contract or relax muscles around these vessels to help them move their tube feet. Sea stars have hundreds of these little tube feet under their body, um, and they use these to move around, to eat, and even to breathe. So sea stars are predators and scavengers. They'll primarily eat mollusks, like clams, oysters, snails, and mussels. Some species of sea stars can wrap their arms around their prey um, and use their tube feet to pull open the shell of that animal. They'll open it up just enough so that they can get their stomachs inside. Uh, sea stars, they don't have a jaw to tear or chew up any of the food, so they can actually turn their stomach inside out and digest their food externally outside of their body. Um, being able to do this and digest outside of their body, uh, it actually allows these sea stars to eat prey that's larger than their mouths. So their mouths are fairly small on the bottom of their body, um, and if they were limited by the size of what they could fit in their mouth, they wouldn't be able to eat very big food and they'd be constantly searching for a meal. So sea stars are also unique because of their ability to regenerate or regrow their lost arms. Most species of sea star need that central disc or that middle part of their body to be intact for the arm to regrow. Uh, this process can take several months, however, uh, and you can see on our sea star, our nine-armed sea star here, it's actually regrowing the tips of some of its limbs. And at the end of each of its arms, they actually have an eye. And these eyes don't see images very well, but they can see light and dark. And really when you're under the ocean, that's all you need. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about our nine-armed sea star and we hope you stay healthy out there.